we are in one of the slums of Saint Louis, Senegal. Senegal is a West African country only slightly smaller than Romania. Most Western tourists arrive through the modern airport of Dakar. They will spend their holidays in luxury beach resorts or they visit famous places like Gori Island or the Monument of African Renaissance. All right, I'm going up those stairs. It's actually quite a bit of a walk and on both sides you see the different African flags on the right and on the left. We made it to the top and yeah, here you can actually see the flag I think of Mauritius and the other one must be Guinea Bissau. The slums of Saint Louis are just a stone's throw away from the streets popular among tourists. I asked a local friend to take me there to experience the harsh reality firsthand. For someone growing up in the rich West, the plight of the street children is beyond imagination. Moi, je m'appelle Bainjai. J'habite au Sénégal. Je suis de Saint-Louis. Je travaille sur les enfants de la rue depuis 2009. Je travaille pour aider les enfants, pour avoir des bonnes toilettes, aider les enfants à bien dormir, essayer d'avoir de l'eau dans leur dara et faire des goûters pour de les aider à manger et organiser des tournois de foot. Dans le quartier avec les enfants du quartier. We are in one of the slums of. Saint Louis, Senegal, and my couchsurfing friend Bai brought me actually here. It's very harrowing uh, the stories of those children. They were actually lured by Islamic scholars into those places that are called Dara, which are actually schools, but not really schools. The places here they are designed for for children from the countryside that have parents back in the villages, but the problem is that. Their parents have no money, so they were sent uh, to cities like Saint Louis, and the hygienic conditions are very, very bad. The children here they basically have to sleep in the open um, on mattresses like this. They hang up their clothes and uh, dry them here in the open air. They have no clean food available, of course they have no fridges, no real place to prepare food and even the pillows and the blankets, uh, they were uh, donations from, from foreigners. UNICEF says there are about 10,000 street children in Senegal overall. Several thousands of them live here in Saint Louis. 